piece of this. Hey, more air, huh? You'd like to blow the face off the big tunnel, would you? Well, I'm taking care of the air pressure, Miss Hedden. Tell you mine. Hey, English, get some boards in the corner. Yes, sir. There's a river over your head. You want it in your lap? Hey, come on, you mugs. Get some mining done around here. What do you think this is? Jerry got it. The motor clipped him. Jerry? Is he through? Yeah, he's through. For good. Come on, let's go. Hey, come on, you gandy dancers. Swing those muck sticks. Compressed air, kid. 
Shoot everything burns fast down here. If the fight ever started down here, there'd be no stopping it at all. Listen to me, son. You're new, and all the boys like you. That's why Sugar asked me to put you to work where you could get some real money. But you don't get that money for nothing. That's right. Your body is paying for it. Sugar, explain it to him. You're good at that stuff. It's the compressed air, kid. There's 32 pounds of it back there in that tunnel. 32 pounds of hell. It holds back the river. That's the only friend we have, lad. That is. Yeah, but it sneaks through your body, too. Sneaks right into it. It's awful stuff. It paralyzes you, cripples you. Gives you the bends and a few other things. Cut it short. Give it him quick. Well, you see, kid, we stay in here for 32 minutes while the pressure lowers gradually. You hear it sneaking through the valve? Well, it's sneaking out of your body, too. It bubbles all through the pores of your skin, lad. We've got to go slow, kid, to give it a chance, eh? Otherwise, it means a... Uh, Twisted leg, you know. <coughs> How about a game of cards? <laughs> well, I'm clean. <laughs> Nothing to be a sand <laughs> All right, Joe, crack her open. Let's get out of here. You're out. Cold kid, just nice. When we get up top, you'll find the same summer day we left when we came down here. You'd better keep yourself wrapped up just the same. That's right. It's 120 degrees down there. It's plenty hot. Yeah. I'll make it hotter for all of you. If Moran gets to the middle of that river before we do. your hair in the middle. Always on the side. Which side? The outside. <laughs> Old Nimblewitz. Here, use some of this. I bought it from South America. Smell like a lily. Smell like jumbo. Got it, got it. Stranger around these parts, miss? I found this badge on. Quite well, Benny. Just a staggers, miss. Is that all? It was hard to say. You may have the vents, too. Pardon me, miss. Just a moment. Any luck with her, boys? You brought him just in time, young lady. I was just in time myself. What's it all about, Doctor? I raised the air pressure to what it was in a tunnel and slowly reduce it to normal. It's just a stagger, like I told you. And the only cure is beer. Why, cure is dangerous. There's only about a thousand men in the whole world that's willing to join. 
It doesn't sound worth it to me. Oh, it all depends. Somebody like Shocker over there, he does it because the hours are short and the pay's good. But me, well, it's in my blood. I'm a Sandhawk. Sure, he's a hero. Every time he tells us. Same story, same hero. Here's good luck. Here's mud in your mush, mucker. Here's a jumbo, the big time heading boss, who can lick any man half his weight. But Dugan. Just a fly in the elephant boy. <laughs> You know the rules. Uh, no women. But this is different, Amy. None of them are different. Oh, now, wait a minute, Amy. Pat here picked up Mulvaney in New York with the staggers and brought him down to the medical lot. That's worth a beer, isn't it? <laughs> now, that's better. Now, meet Miss Dodge. Pat, this is Amelia Hardcastle. How do you do? How do you do? No hard feelings, Miss Dodge. You see, if I were to let women come in here, it wouldn't be your kind that would show up. And as for the others, I've got no use for them. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'll be back. Hold for your mouth for what? Seven. Eight. None of that stuff in my place. Two dice make a pair any time. Now you get out and stay out. Very smart, aren't you? Set him up, Corky. I hear you had a good day. Not bad, not bad at all. Oh, but wait until New York gets wind of it. They'll just burn up. New York? Don't they know about it? <laughs> New York is just one thing to jumbo. Moran and his gang of muckers trying to beat him to the middle of the river. <laughs> oh, that bunch of river clerks. They haven't got a chance. Whistling in the dark again, huh? High pressure gets you, Miss Dodge. <laughs> Come over here and I'll show you how the wheels go around. Now quit ribbing him. Are you still protecting that big camel after 15 years, huh? There's Brooklyn. And there's New York. I'm the chief heading boss on this side. He got the job because he could yell the loudest. Where's your manners? Interrupting a lady and a gentleman. Here, yeah, yeah. here. As I was saying, as head and boss, I get the muck cleared out of here and blast through the rock. He just yells and the rock crumbles. Then I shove the shield through the bed of the river about 30 inches at a time. Jumbo's a very strong man. See? <laughs> hey, guys. Nipper Moran. And when the work is done, this Lily and his tea drinkers put in the iron. Sure, nothing to it. The iron is just the steel structure that I build to hold up the East River, that's all. That's all. He slaughtered it, but uh, I keep him for the laughs. Yeah, that's right. I heard you say you had a good day. How far'd you go? We made three shoves today, which is a little less than eight feet. How about New York? New York? Oh, <laughs> they've hit rock. They've been blasted in the same place for two days. And before they know it, we'll be pushing them right back into Times Square. <laughs> well, lay they do on that loud mouth. <laughs> Nipper Moran, the heading boss on the New York side. It's 500 bucks as we push you right back to Flatbush. You want that bunch of campfire girls? What do you want? Hold on, fellas, hold on. Yeah, campfire girls. There's your 500. 200 more. Corky, hold that. Put it down, 700 even. Right. Uh, this guy thinks he can dig tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be seeing you. <laughs> yeah, we'll be seeing you. Yeah, we'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sand hogs for you. Big pay, and they gamble every cent they get. I never saw anything like this. She was sent to cover it, I tell you. I know we're going to press. Well, what do you want me to do? Get the sketches by television? Listen, Joe, dig down in the files and run an old cut. A horse is a horse. I don't care who draws it. Well. Know what I've got? Mm-hmm. You've got a lot of time on your hands. Did you ever hear of a deadline? Did you ever hear of sand hogs? Sand hogs? What's that got to do with sketches of the horse show? Nothing. Horse shows. I've got something better. A knockout yarn. Well, what are you going to do with these? There's a great human interest story here. 
Sand hogs, grimy giants who brave the hazards of high air. Hot air? High air, under the East River. So what? Don't you see? Everything they've got is tied up in this tunnel. They gamble their lives and every nickel they make against the rival gang. Well, who cares? Listen, Dodge, there's been $50 million sunk in that tunnel to make it easier for people to go from New York to Brooklyn. Don't ask me why. But these men are making it possible for millions of people to get out into fresh air and sunshine. Oh, that story was written when the first covered wagon started west. But there's another angle. Here's the angle. You were sent to cover the horse show and you came back without it. Now the edition's gone to press. I see. Well, it's all right with me. With me, too. I wouldn't be surprised if one of those rural editors over in Brooklyn didn't fall for your yarn. I'm way ahead of it. Bill, close out Patricia Dodge as of today. Patricia Dodge, Colin, and Mrs. Hardcastle and the boys. Okay, Corky. Wake up. Oh, Jumbo, come on. Wake up, will you? Bad? Hello. Hello. Excuse me a moment while I turn off that noise. <laughs> wake up, Rip Van well, Winkle. What's, come what's, on, what's, wake what's, up. What's the matter? Oh. Look over there. Well, as I live and breathe. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Say, Fat. Club beef and cabbages, knockout drops to jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Jumbo. <laughs> jumbo. Oh. Well, where you been, Pat? The boys are just about to put an ad in the paper for you. That's right. Lost and found. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pat. Oh, it's just relaxing. Listen, I've got great news. You have? What is it? What is it? Yeah. First, I work on a newspaper. Yes. Now, don't ask me why. I suppose I fell on my head when I was a child. <laughs> so that's how you get your coffee and donuts. Right. <laughs> but from now on, thanks to all of you, it's going to be French pastry. Look. Oh, oh. boy, hot stuff, huh? Oh, boy. Jump. My first byline signed yeah. Patricia Dodge. I sold myself in the story over the river of the Brooklyn Herald. <laughs> All that's missing is the fingerprint. What a break for you. What a break for me. You don't know. It's a new job, twice the salary, and you've done it, all of you. Say, can't we celebrate or something? What's wrong with burning up Broadway? Nothing, but on one condition. The party's on me. Oh, no, 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 wait a minute. No, 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 that's the only way. We'll meet at the Paradise Club at 10. Put on your glad rags, Amy. Out of the mothballs. Say, you boys want a dress? Sure, swell. Sure. Look at me, Jumbo. Black tie or tail? Oh. <laughs> Well, so long. Oh, so See you at ten. You big dog can't wear a black tie with tails? What are tails? What you ought to have, you monkey. Seven fifty a night for the works. Yeah, I see the monkey's got his tail. Sunday supplement of a great metropolitan paper. The facts concerning a vital drama going on under the East River. A tunnel is being built there against tremendous odds, man against the elements. We have here tonight not the president of the company, not an efficiency expert, but one of the men who is making this tunnel possible, making it possible for you and you, all of you, to end your transportation difficulties. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the chief heading boss of the Brooklyn end of the East River Tunnel, Jumbo Smith himself. Come on, baby, take a bow.
<laughs> it's all right, huh? Pat, what do you say? How about it? Love to. Would you like to dance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Want to dance? Mm-mm. You better be careful of your leg. What's the matter with you? I think it's the itch. Oh, no. It's just that you have to be careful when you hire clothes. Oh. It is the itch. Oh, come on, let's get up here. I might have known that the first chance I get for a night out, something like this would happen. Amy, scratch my back. Oh, come on, let's get out. Hey, we've got soap for your trouble, Sandhog. <laughs> Shut up, you. How about a little flea powder? How'd you like a dose of that spotlight now? Well, how would you like to have a suck in the jaw? <laughs> What's the trouble? Looks like the big camel's gone and got the itch. Why don't you give him a Turkish bath? That'll fix him up. <laughs> if my friend wasn't so busy, he'd answer himself. Yeah, he's busy. Don't he ever wash? <laughs> Listen, Mr. Kid Hanley. You live on phony fights and hot air. We live on compressed air. And sometimes it kills us. Now, my friend over there is in pain. He has a minor disease of compressed air. In the tunnel language, we call it the itch. And Mr. Kid Hanley, it doesn't help to have you laugh at him. <laughs> Try and remember that when you wake up. Hey, what are you doing? Look, look, look my milk. <laughs> Hi, right, Chuck, you ready with that iron? Ready to go, Moran. You better be. I put another hundred on the line to win. And I'm going to win. I went for 50 myself. Hey, you muckers. Every one of you has got a bet down on this race. What are you trying to do, lose it? What were the hazards in that Detroit tunnel job, Chuck? No hazards. All the reporters were men. Come on, Chuck. Let's talk about tunnels. I want to talk about you. Patricia. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were at noon. This is Mr. Dugan, Aunt Alice. Shaka, this is my aunt, Miss Simpson. Miss Simpson, how are you? I'm glad to see you. How do you do? I'm here on a visit from Salem. Oh, yes? Oh. You know, Mr. Dugan, I want to hear all about that fascinating pig pen where you men congregate. Hog hole, Aunt Alice. Well, it all comes to the same thing, doesn't it? Hog hole, pig pen. I'll say it does. <laughs> 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 Is it true that your profession runs through generations? And are you of a tunnel hog family? Oh, yes. Yes, we've been winning blue ribbons at the Iowa State Fair for years. Oh, how wonderful. You know, Mr. Dugan, I'm lazy about tunnels, and I've never been in one. Never? Never. I'll dig you one. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Hello, Amy. Hello, dear. Well, Pat, there it is. And that's known as a boil? That's it. And wherever Shocker and Jumbo are driving tunnel, you've stood by Riverfront and watched it? Sure. That's how I know just what's going on down below. Everything. But I don't understand what makes that bubble, Amy. Normal leakage of air. Then there really isn't any danger. Looks calm now, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, you ought to see it when there's a blow. Stand right here and watch it. Shoots 30 feet up in the air. Brings up timbers and muck and machinery. And sometimes men. That's dreadful. Sure is. Thank you. 
It ain't deep enough, but that'll do. Give me the dynamite. All right, everybody out. Tell the electrician to set it up as soon as I give him the flash. Do you want to get blown up? No, sir. What are you doing here? What's your guess? All right. Ready up there! Oh, Bill! The face! He's ripped it off! He's won. 
Why do you hear me? There's plenty more. I have a game to play. My game and my tunnel. Fight, I say, fight, fight. Why, you'll kill every man in the tunnel if you do. Shut up. Oh. The power plant. The power plant. Timber. It hits you across the back of the neck, just as you ordered the men into the cars. How's the fire? There's two feet of water in there, killing it off. <coughs> we got the pumps going right away. Ah, it set me back three days. Just my luck. You're lucky to be alive. What time is it? Quarter two. Is that right, Sugar? Yeah, quarter two. Well, what's the matter? Oh, every time I work in more than 30 pounds of air, I always get the itch. Come on, let's go and see a doctor. Oh, we got a date, ain't Forget we? Forget the date. There were a lot of other dates and a lot of other dames. Come on, now, this is serious. I had the itch once and I was in bed for six months. Come on, now, let's get going. Come on, hurry up. There's nothing to fool around with. Come on, Jumbo. Don't be a fool. Come on. What is it? Hurry up, get in there, quick. What is it? Quick, Jumbo, quick. Jumbo. Now, what's the matter with him? He's got the itch. I don't put a man in the lock for the itches. You do when Shocker Dugan's got a date. Left in an awful hurry. I'll bet he did. Hello, beautiful. Oh, Mr. Dugan. Well, well, Miss Simpson, you still here? Yes, but I'm leaving. I've just got time to catch my train. I am sorry. Oh, now that's a shame. I'll miss you. <laughs> 
But still, Salem's a swell little burg, and I suppose you're anxious to get home with the husband and kiddies. Just a moment. There you are. Goodbye, Mr. Duke. Goodbye. See you in the tunnel. Listen, Miss Dodge, it's a waste of time to bet on that bunch of flat-footed Brooklyn floor walkers. Put your money in New York. And dump the East River right into Flatbush. Oh, hello, Shocker. Hello, Pat. You two boys know each other, don't you? Sure. Mrs. Moran's little blue-eyed boy nipper. The pride of Hell's Kitchen. Hiya, Daisy. Uh, I was going to do a feature story of the New York side. Mr. Moran is posing for a sketch. Great. Nipper Moran, Hercules of Manhattan. And why not? Where's Jumbo? Poor Jumbo. He's, um, he's having trouble with his bridge work. Oh, pardon me a moment. Oh, why, Jumbo! Oh, what's the matter? Plenty. Yeah, plenty. The fire didn't set you back. Not much. Not ten feet. You're going in a rock. I've got nothing between me and the middle now that I can't go through with a nail file. Well, smart guy, you thought you put one over, didn't you? This ribbon clerk here has been trying to get Pat to bet on New York. Now, listen, Pat. All New York can never get out of this will be out of ours. Anybody be a chump to bet on Brooklyn now? Well, since the fire, they haven't even got a head in boards. What's that? Just this. I hear the men don't know who to take orders from since Shocker hits you over the head with a bolt. Well? Yeah, I did it. Wanted my job, eh? Take off your coat. So you couldn't keep your mouth shut, huh, you rat? Ah, oh, there's only one rat around here, and that's you. And when I get through with you, there'll only be one head. Jump, boy, you don't and that's me. And I tell you. If I hadn't knocked you out, 30 men would have been burned to death in that tunnel. And you too. Ah, oh, nix on that fancy talk. Take off your coat. No, Jumbo, please. You don't care where you fight, do you? No. Well, I do. Come on back to the gantry where you belong. Come on, Jumbo. Just wait till you come out of the tank. Well, what are you waiting for? Shock a dugan. I'll send her down. What's the matter, hi hat? Why don't you hold the case for me? Because I'm building this tunnel, not you. Oh, listen, Jumbo. You do the listening. You thought you were putting one over. Well, I'm heading, boss, and nobody in this tunnel's gonna forget it. Hey, you muckers. Get him off the track and on that straw. And when he comes to, tell him that I said, get out and stay out. What's going on in here? Oh, yeah. Pass into it. Come on, let's make some headway. Hey, give it. Get me a forward. Bring on the bracelet. Bracelet. Come on, bracelet. It's bad, Jumbo. It's bad. Oh, of course it's bad. Get some boards up there. Come on in here! Where? Where? Give me that phone. Come on, the brace. Now brace it. Yeah. All right. Here. Now be careful, you fellas, or you let the river in. He's gone haywire. Give me the shovel. Hold it. <laughs>
Amy, he was the last to go. We waited. Slamming me against the bulkhead. It's a good thing your boys didn't wait. Water right up to my shoulders. Where's Shocker? Shocker? He never came through that lock. Powerhouse! Quick, powerhouse! Give me every pound of air in the compressors. Shut 
Okay, boys, I'm all right, thanks. Uh -huh. I heard about you two fellows. 50 pounds of air, hey, Jumbo. In the luck with you, I fix you up. I wouldn't go in the same luck with that guy. Put him in, he needs it. I don't. Still sore, huh? Listen, wise guy, there's only room for one boss in the head. And right or wrong, I'm the head and boss. And you're through, see? And that's final. Jumbo, I warned you. How about it, Chucker? Okay, Doc, you better give me about an hour in there. After all, one of us might as well use a little sense. <laughs> So you fired him, huh? Sure. The rat. <laughs> you don't feel that way about Shocker. Or you'd never gone back for him. Ah, uh, just part of me job. Maybe now I'll get me a real iron boss. Yeah? Well, for 15 years you've been digging tunnels and taking chances like these every day. Why don't you quit and get yourself a real job? Quit? Me? Oh, quit building tunnels? Sure. Oh, Amy, I can't do that. Why not? Why, well, I'm a laborer. Oh. I'm a tunnel builder. I build things. Maybe it will get me. But wherever I am, heaven or hell, I can always look back and see that tunnel and know that I built it. And with these two hands, I have to build that tunnel. Oh. Oh. What is it? Huh? Nothing, Amy. Just a little twinge in the old leg. That 50 pounds of air you went into. To save Shocker. Uh, oh! Jumbo! Jumbo! Oh, I can feel nothing. It's gone dead. <sighs> Paralyzed. We're washed up and that's all there is to it. I think you're both being very childish. Oh, no. From now on, I'm going to be on top, looking down at the river. Mm-hmm. As soon as you and Jumbo shake hands, that river will be dripping right back on your head again. No, Pat, I've heard dry boots for the last time. No more muck and grime for me. Mm-mm. Then what for you? You for me. You know, there's only one thing worse than tunnels. What's that? Newspaper women. Really? Sure, I've seen their pictures. Small offices, no fresh air. What, 40, you look like an old woman. I won't have it. Well, what do you want me to do? Come here. You know, I've got plans, and you're in them. Oh, I've been thinking about it ever since I met you. In the country, fresh air, small place. What a setup. Just the place to raise them. Well, I can see the little devil scamping around the yard. What in the world are you talking about? Silver foxes. Oh, shocker, you're priceless. So are the foxes. Listen, I've been reading up on them. Oh, there's a fortune in it. You just start off with two foxes, and oh boy, are they multiplying. <laughs> oh, give me a minute. Hello? Oh, hello, Amy. Huh? But Amy, what's happened? Hello? Hello? Where's the fire? That was Amy. She wants you to come right down there. What for? She didn't say. It sounds as if something's happened. Oh, let them worry about it. 
I've got something better in view. Now, Shocker, you must find out what it is. Oh, they probably run out of beer. Here's your hat. What's my hurry? I wouldn't raise silver foxes with a man. Ah, then you will think about it, huh? Hurry, Shocker. Huh. Hurry. <laughs> hurry. All right. If you promise to stay here and draw pictures of Mr. and Mrs. Silver Fox and the children, I'll go back. <laughs> Now, he did all that any man on earth could do. But he's feeling terrible. Why he hasn't stuck his head out that door all the blessed day? Come on, now. Let's show him that we're still with him. Show him that we think Jumbo is still the greatest tunnel man on earth. What's that? It's your men. Now, they mustn't see you like this, Jumbo. They'll think you're through. And you're not. Now, listen, Jumbo, I'll go out there and I'll talk to them. I'll say anything, anything. And the moment you hear me talking, you come out, even if you have to crawl on your hands and knees. And, Jumbo, listen, when you do come out, grab a chair and don't get up. Because if you do, they'll know you're through. <laughs> Boys, you know what's happened, don't you? Yeah. yeah. The old tunnel's flooded. Now, boys, you know where the river came in, don't you? Sure do. Yeah. Yeah. It forced us back to that bulkhead and made us start all over again. Now, you know what's on the other side of that tunnel. Yeah. yeah. It's Moran. Moran and his crew. And he's driving like he's never driven before because he thinks he sees a chance to win. Not a chance. Not a chance. Moran won't win. No. no. We're going to get back that heading, all of us. And there's the man to lead you. Thanks, fellas. You're a swell lot of guys. Now go to the bar and have a drink on Jumbo. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jumbo. Got the river in your lap today. I suppose you want to call the bets off. Not a chance. I'll double it. Bring your money over tomorrow, Moran. I'll cover it. What are you doing? Letting Amy do your betting for you? Yeah. Maybe she does your fighting for you, too. You know better than that, Moran. You better get out, Moran, before Jumbo throws you out. Ha <laughs> ha, what a chance. Jumbo, the big heading boss. The crack heading boss on the Brooklyn side. Where's your tunnel, Jumbo? Where are your miners? Where's your iron boss? Where are they? Tell me that, huh? Where are they? Ah, you big punk. Lost your nerve, huh? What's it all about, Corky? Moran just slapped Jumbo in the face with a glass of beer, and Jumbo took it. He what? He took it. Well, you have. You've got to let me get a doctor. Oh, I'm going to get one. I don't want a doctor. Don't want her around me. Oh. So you took it from Moran. You, Jumbo. The guy I thought was the greatest of them all. Took it from Moran. What did you drag me out of the river for? 
to hear that you'd lost your nerve? Well, I'd rather stayed there. Stayed there and had the whole riverbed poured down my throat. It'd be much better to hear than you'd gone yellow. Yeah, that's what I said, yellow. No, sugar, you can't call me that. Jumbo, oh, please. His leg. Gone? He did it for me. He went on to air pressure. For me. Tell him he's got to have a doctor. Sure, please. he's gonna have a doctor. I'll get your doctor Ryan. I'll have to go all the way back to Belgium. He'll make him walk. Ryan will make him walk. Where are you going? I'm gonna bend an iron wrench over Moran's neck and then look for Dr. Ryan. No shocker. Moran's mine. Sometime, somehow, I'll get him. And when I do, I'll break him. Break him in two with my own two hands. Jumbo. Oh. Come on, yes. Jumbo, I promise you this. Someday you'll meet Moran. Meet him where a man doesn't need any legs. Meet him where a man's legs won't do him any good. And that day you'll break Moran. How about finishing the tunnel for Jumbo, Shocker? Sure. Oh, I'll be all right in a well, day sure. or two. Sure, of course you will. But you wouldn't mind Shocker helping you a little bit until you were on your feet and able to help yourself? Now, would you? Oh, well, he'll probably make a mess of the whole thing. Then he'll have to do the cooking around here. And I'll tunnel. Can I throw this toothpick away? Something I can tell you, Jumbo. If it can be fixed, there's only one man to do the job, Dr. Ryan. Yeah, and that takes dough. Plenty. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. Hi, you big fella. I'm doing swell. Right. But I want some beer. Jumbo, remember, no alcohol. <laughs> well, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, Doctor. Come so on, Doc. Goodbye, Doc. Well, could you stand some good news? I want some beer. Coffee, three beers. Listen, we made four and three today. That puts us only two rings behind Moran. Well, that ain't bad. With three days to go, we ought to finish even. Well, sure, sure so. that's great. Yeah. And, it, and it means that big job in the Argentine. More than that, it means we get Jumbo's leg fixed with the bonus. How much of a bonus does the company put up? Five thousand for the winning crew. But if you finish even, don't you have to split with Moran? I should say not. Hey, look, Pat. Uh, hey. Now, this is New York, and this is Brooklyn, see? The... Hey, Jumbo, put that tray in between them, will you? That's it. Now, I'll now explain. You... Oh, go ahead. Now that the shields are head-to-head, -head, right smack right up against each other, they hit the middle of the river at the same time. You see, there's when... six feet of riverbed between them, just like this tray here. Then you take the muck away and... Take it away. There you go. Yeah. Then it's up to the two-headed bosses. 
One on each side of the river, trying to hold through. But I should think they'd run hell on into each other. They do. Then we collect the bonus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the hospital kick me right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can start right now thinking how we're going to spend our share of the bonus. Well, why not buy a tunnel? Why not buy a newspaper? Chuck <laughs> Gumbo! <laughs> Sorry, Jumbo. Sorry you can't be in at the finish. Chopper told me. And I know how you feel about holding this job through. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but I know. But thanks for letting me bring the gang in. Even if it is only the lock tennis job. That's all. dollars to plant this in his face just once. But I made you a promise. This is your tunnel, Jumbo. Go on through.
the joke. Let us in on it. <laughs> Eric, yes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I bet Pat $5 that you boys would head straight for a tunnel. <laughs> 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 